Afternoon everybody. Yesterday, me and about seven others placed a, uh, a large order with Gage at Cichlid Connections. And uh, it was Christmas time yesterday. All of them came in. So I'm going to take a quick run through my fish room and show you, you know, what I have existing and then what the new occupants are. Um, what we're looking at here right now is just a divided up uh, 135. It's got a male dovine on one side and a little female in the middle. Uh, on this side I got an RTM. Down below, same thing, got it divided up. Got a wild caught red devil. There's my red as Letus with some fry. And then Eloensis. Off to the side here is a quick little look at uh, several different fr spawns, fry. Some larger one, Umbi, Dovi, Hogas. There's only about 12 in there. Bunch of little ones from my Zoonotis and my Umbi. And over here on the left, we got some Ciboldi. Uh, thanks to a Clockwork Orange off of MFK and some RTMs. And we scroll around here. This is uh, our grow out tank. That big white one in the middle is uh, the first fry from that Hilo that I showed you earlier. In the corner over here is a uh, my male heartwiggy that's causing all kinds of chaos in here right now. The new occupant that I got in this tank is a little three inch male cross eye. Hopefully uh, he'll grow because I've got a 12 inch female cross eye that he needs to catch up to. And there's the male cross eye in the back. He's only about three inches, tiny little guy. Everybody else in here is averaging anywhere from three inches to, eh, at heart weight, he's probably pushing five. The female is on him. All right. And we'll cruise over to the 300. Nobody knew in this tank, just thought I'd show off everybody real quick. There's the main boss of the tank, my big Hoga. Hoga Boomerum Ampelopus. There's his female. There's that big 12 inch cross eye. Little female Grimode. There's a little Honduran Jags in the back. A little female Lozelli uh, in the back. Alright, there's a big Heterospila. Vieja. Right next to her is Vabini, male. There's one of my red devils, Bard. She's a wild caught. She's uh, red. And then in the background is a wild caught blue devil. Right up front here is uh, my pair of Lucius Pike. slide to the left right of that. Our new addition into here is that male Hoga, about seven inches. That's a Lepidota Pike. Got a pair of Cubans. Another couple of Honduran Jags in here also. And my existing female Hoga, and those of you that know me know that her male which has given me and several locals several, several of their F1 fry. He passed away in the big old power outage that we had recently. And uh, she's down underneath there because as soon as I introduced her to that one, 
They immediately, immediately went into their little spawning mode. So, then we whip around here. This is our Vieja Parath Wraps tank. It's a black belt. Ragani. There's another Ragani. There's big male Zonatus. There's a female Zonatus. Up there is a very large female red blue head Fenestratus. She's a big girl. Our new additions to this tank is a Catamaco right there. And the big wild caught by Fasciatus if it will ever come out. A couple of Neurosades, a little Nick, Nickergwensis. There's another blue redhead, Finistratus. A couple of Argentia. There up top there is our big, the big Bifasciatus we got. He's 10 inches. Now we'll take a look at him again when he comes out. There is another female bifa that I got last year from Gage. Got her when she was about two inches. All right, let's cruise back this way. Big male Zonatus doesn't quite like the uh, big male bifa in here. There he is. Beautiful colors. down. This is just a quick look at one of my large fry tanks. We got several different fry from several different spawns still left over. We got Lion's Eye, Heloensis, Red is Letus, a couple of Hogas, uh, Umbi, Carpentis. Oh what else? So we got uh, Ratisma in here. Couple of others. There's the lion's eye and the umbi hanging out. Alrighty. And behind me is a couple of 40 breeders where we put a lot of the new ones, a lot of the newbies in. In here we got some Godmani, Microthomus. Pierci, Trimac, erect these turquoise. See if we can get a good close up of some of these guys. Over here in the corner looks like some microthalmus. They're all right about an inch, inch and a half. Gage definitely treated us well. To the right here is some of the wild caught umbi. I got a male and a female. Can't wait till that male colors up. I'll go off to another part of the fish room. Sorry, moving a little too quick there. Don't you guys getting all dizzy? And here we got a couple of Argentia. 
Yeah, unfortunately, they're not going to come out. A couple of wild cuts. We're going to redo these tanks, give them some gravel, give them a little more decor. They were going to go in my 210, but yeah, the occupants didn't quite take well to them. And then over here, this is going to be a tank for quite a few of those little ones. And right now I'm holding these fish for uh, DRD off of the fish box and off of Monster Fish Keeper. And here he has all males, three catamacos, three finistratus redheads, and then three of the pie bolts. And one, I take it back, and one Zonatus red nanchital. The white ones are the catamacos. That there is the uh, Zonatus. That's one of the pie bolts. There's another pie bolt. And then that one right there is the redhead or one of three and then also occupying here are three of my F1 red devil fry we turn around this one over here it's a dirty tank a little busy and eh, this is where the rest of my F1 red devil fry are and they're also sharing the tank with uh, the Trimac and an RTM male that wouldn't play well with the new occupants, so they're in here for timeout. So, anyway. We'll have to take another one when these two get a little more acquainted and get a little more comfortable with their surroundings. Well, I thought I ran through this pretty quick, and yet it still looks like it turned out to be a 12, 13, 14 minute video. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.